everyone. Marriage and the family are fundamental institutions within our society. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people get married, intending to share their lives with one another. Weddings are celebrated as times of great joy and hope. The love that parents show to their children is the gift that makes society possible. Despite pressures of work, many parents make great efforts to spend as much time as they can with their children and working closely with their schools, seek to educate them in what is most worthwhile and valuable in life. However, changes in our society have had a significant effect on the institution of marriage and the family. Relationship breakdown, divorce and alternative partnerships are accepted by many as part and parcel of modern life. For instance, in the year 2000, while there were 305,000 marriages, there were over 154,000 divorces, according to the Office of National Statistics. Now this has had a devastating effect on the bringing up of children, as separation and divorce commonly leave children hurt and confused. Witnessing so many marriages break down, some couples no longer see the value of going through a marriage ceremony and prefer simply to live together. Couples in this situation have begun to argue that the law should give them the same status as married couples. Parliament has sought to reflect this change in society by voting to amend the law on adoption so that an unmarried couple could adopt as a couple. However, it should be noted that at present the, relate, the rate of relationship breakdown in cohabiting unmarried couples is significantly higher than is in the case of married couples. Threats to family stability can also arise from various exter external factors, for example poor housing, unemployment and low income. Violence and crime can make neighbourhoods hostile to family life. And as a parent, it is hard to combat the power of television, social media and magazines. All the advertising that is specifically directed at children and then there's the influence of their peer group. Much of children's media is creative and responsible, but many parents are concerned that too much of the media message is far from appropriate. It sometimes seems to be assumed that to be normal, a teenager has to be sexually active. Also troubling is the encouragement of fashion and self-consciousness about body image, even in young children. Here are a few questions to think about and mull over. First, is marriage becoming increasingly irrele irrelevant to a vast swathe of people? What do you think? Second, are children adversely affected by the separation of their parents? How much are they affected? Third, if children are brought up in a loving home, does it matter whether the parents are of the same or opposite sexes? What is your opinion? Fourth, do you agree that children are being robbed of their innocence by inappropriate sex education? Last, should school children be advised about the dangers of transgenderism? Controversial questions in this day and age, aren't they? But how would you answer them? Now thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all.